Hey, what's going on everybody, man? It is your boy Cool Black Nerd and I want to welcome y'all to the first episode of Other People's Computer for 2021. And for those who do not know, Other People's Computers is basically this this is this channel and it's basically about helping you along your journey uh, to get into the cloud and just keep you motivated and inspired along the way by just sharing stories, uh, just dropping gems about things that I went through in my career and just really giving game on the whole situation. Like I feel like I have a lot of people coming up to me uh, seeking advice on resumes, skills they should learn, uh, and just all the things, you know, tech and cloud related. And instead of just continuing to talk to everybody one-on-one, -on -one, I thought it would be a great opportunity to just like, all right, like let's go ahead and get this YouTube stuff kicked into high gear. So today what I really wanted to talk about was what exactly are the skills that you really need to learn in order to build a solid foundation for your cloud career? I think there's a lot of confusion around what it is that you really need to know in order to become a cloud engineer or better yet, like a site reliability engineer. So I kind of want to gain some, I want to get some clarity based off my actual experience of becoming a site reliability engineer, or if you want to be more general, a cloud engineer you know so uh, i just thought this would be a great opportunity and so the number one thing i always tell people that you need to learn in order to really pour a solid foundation in regards to your your career in the cloud is you need to understand an operating system it could be windows preferably linux i'm gonna be real but learn linux like learn ubuntu like and when i say go learn it what i'm saying is learn enough of it to be dangerous so that could entail uh actually taking the time to understand what are some of the main utilities you would use from the command line so learning how to use the command line understanding what are what are going to be some of your go-to uh commands that you're going to use understanding cats and the echoes even the jqs uh, even understanding a little bit of networking from the command line things of that nature, like actually understand how to use the command line and writing bash scripts. I think that's extremely important. Now, I'm not saying you need to understand how to configure a kernel and do all of that extra stuff. That's not what I'm saying at all. But you need to be comfortable enough around the command line so that you, when somebody gives you a task, whether it's writing a bash script or automating something, uh, for operating or even bootstrapping a server, like you should know enough to at least stitch some solutions together so that you can do that task in a, in a, in a good enough time. So that's definitely number one. Make sure you know enough operating system or at least enough command line to be dangerous. That's number one. Number two, go and learn what the cloud is. That I think that's the next thing you gotta do. The best way to do it, to be honest with you, is just actually learning to a certification. Certification that I went and got was the AWS Solution Architect Associate. And that's basically kind of how I really learned what the cloud was and the business purposes behind it and how to actually use it. Actually getting into a, a Amazon AWS account specifically and actually spinning up an EC2 server, putting together a network, configuring uh, the firewall or security groups, um understanding what some of their other services are like lambda and things of that nature like not necessarily saying you need to know how to do them or know how to use them extensively but at least get comfortable around those concepts so that when people bring them up in conversation you at least know what's going on you kind of at least can be a little bit of hip to what's going on and so number three which i would say is probably going to be the the skill that's going to take you over the top you do need to learn how to program in some form or fashion. Once you understand the operating system, once you understand the cloud, truth be told, once you get and start working for some of these companies, a lot of these companies are actually there. A lot of people aren't going through the console and the UI and like clicking through things. I'm not saying people don't, people do, but a lot of the, 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 blunt, the brunt of the work is actually getting done by being able to leverage APIs and, and things of that nature. And these are concepts that you need to understand uh, whenever you do engage in being a, a cloud engineer or SRE, because you will be tasked to automate things and, and program against APIs and things of that nature. 
Now, I'm not sitting here saying you need to be the greatest program in the, programmer in the world, but pick a language, whether it's a Node.js, whether it's a Python, whether it's a Golang, pick a language and just get good enough at it to where you just, you're comfortable enough to work your way around the API, you're able to work your way around libraries, you're able to read code, you're able to, to fix bugs and things of that nature, and, and, and it's gonna help you out greatly. Now, granted, I, I'm kind of like zooming through it, but for the most part, those are kind of the three skill sets that you're really gonna need as a cloud engineer. Now, as the weeks go on, we're gonna dive more into what more specifically are the tools that you need to learn because we just are talking about skills. We aren't talking about tools because when I start talking about tools, we're talking about things like Kubernetes. We're talking about things like Ansible. We may talk about things like Terraform. Like now the tools go along with the skill sets in order to really flesh you out as an engineer. And that's what we're going to go into uh, moving forward. So for anybody else that's out there as a cloud engineer, anybody else that may have questions, man, let me know what are other skills that you think you need to learn in order to become a cloud engineer or SRE or a DevOps engineer or whatever those mini titles that are out there are. Uh, what are other skills that y'all think that, that you think people actually need to learn? Um, do not hesitate to actually leave a comment below. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, tell your friends, hey, there's this guy out here that's talking about tech and cloud, and he seemed like he might be kind of cool. So by all means, man, check me out on Twitter and on Instagram at CoolBlackNerd, C-O-O-L-B-L-K-N-E-R-D. If you have any questions, you have any ideas, anything you want to bring to the table as far as things that you want me to cover, do not hesitate to hit me up, man. I'm always open to answering questions and helping people out however I can. Um, and to everybody else, I mean, well, to y'all in general. Let's go on this journey, man. Let's become the best engineers that we can. And I'll see y'all next week. Peace.